Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of website programming course under Python programming language and Django framework. A very warm welcome from you. I hope up to now you've been following the details of our program. In the previous session, as you may well have noticed, we changed the setting.py of our website and made the necessary settings for the static folder and the time zones that we explained. In this session, we are going to deal with the urls.py file. Alright, in the urls.file, there are two libraries. The default libraries that have been recalled and there is an address here. First, I need to give an explanation about this address. If you check right now in our URL pattern, there is an address. You just need to, on the page that you are seeing right now, and after your address on the Explorer, write slash admin. You will see this login page. What, what is this login page? This is the page for logging in to the ready-made admin, the admin on Django that I had talked to you about. From this part, you can change the name of the login page. You just need to replace admin with login and here using the IP slash login, which later on will be your website's address, have access to this page. But how to enter and what is the user and password for entering? We are going to talk about it. Okay, let's see. The next thing here is for the URL section, I must change the libraries a little bit because here it is using the patch library. As you see, it's not adequate to introduce the URLs here, I want to use another library. These are comments, we can remove them. I want to use another library called URL. I write, from where should I get this library? From where should I import it? Django, yep. Dot, c o n t con, dot URL, import, yes, include the libraries, include and URL. I recall, so instead of the patch library, what I am going to do is, as a matter of fact, to use the URL library and the include library, which is for my address, and the include is for introducing the URLs to my website. Okay. If here I change the library because it is a URL address, it is using patch, the patch library. So if I am going to use the URL library, this line of code that has been introduced by the patch library is not going to be responsive and it won't work on the site. So I need to remove this line and instead of it, use the URL library. I use the URL library, I write URL l r single quotation mark and inside it the fashion mark right here and i write admin and i add a slash okay and i say to where this address should be attached to admin dot site dot URLs. Now, what did I do? I said URL with the address admin or a slash admin. Now, what is this R that I have addressed, added here? R means from root. That is from my root. Okay, let's see. What is the address of my root? It is the IP that has been set here, 127. Dot o dot o dot o eight dot triple o what have i inserted after this address i have added the admin which is in the string in single quotation and we add here the fashion mark why did we add the fashion mark so that it would be the beginning of our address this root that we have defined here the r here turns the ip127 if our ad domain is even google.com 
it will be my domain slash admin any domain that we have such as my domain dot comma slash will be added here so this r is the default address of our system or the url address and after that we can write any certain definition and in the end i need to add the comma i save this now if you check again let's see I reload the page and as you see it opens and my new libraries are working properly and I can even change the name here for instance instead of admin I can write login and if here again as you see I reload admin what will happen the 404 page shows up that tells me there is no admin and it lists the available URLs on my website for me of course, the reason why we are seeing this page is because our debug is true. The reason why we keep the debug true while programming is to be able to see the errors on our website. But why? We need to change it to false so that the user is not going to see such errors on the site in the real life situations and instead sees the 404 page or not found page of our site. All right. I write a correct address that I defined, which is login. And as you see, what happened? The entry uh, the home page just shows up. So as you see, we can define any address that we want. Our addresses can even have several different parts or several different formats or sections. I can write my site slash. Let's see login. And now I need to use the address my site slash login so that I see the home page of my website that I've just created. All right, we turn this back to admin, write admin so that we will be able to use the admin page of Django. Yep, at the beginning phases. Okay. In the more advanced levels, we are going to write the pages ourselves. That is, we write a specific login, we write a special uh, home page, and all the admin sections will be set up on our page by the admin that we have just created. That is why we set it as admin, so that later on, that we are going to set up personalized login and other pages, there would be no mixing up. So that's for setting the URLs and using the URL library that we did in this session. We made the admin address as well. In the following session, we will see how we can enter this pre-made admin and we talk about this pre-made admin even more.